All right, so sterile technique, a couple of, hold on, oh, sorry. Our second camera. Okay. You're good. You don't have to get the shoes. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not getting the shoes. All right. Um, so, to start out, just to talk about a couple of principles first. When you're setting up your sterile field, of course, when you before you go in a patient's room, you want to gather all your supplies, right? So, make sure you have everything for your procedure first thing. Um, then you want to clear the t bedside table off. You might need to wipe it down with one of those sandy wipes. Um, let that dry, and then start setting up your sterile fill before you start your procedure. Um, a couple of things to remember. You never want to turn your back to your sterile field. You want to keep everything above the waist, nothing below the waist. Um, so if you go to throw something out in the trash can, you want to stay above your waist and just drop it, okay? So, um, be mindful of that. You never want to bring your hands down um, because then you're considered non-sterile and you have to change your gloves and all of that. Uh, you probably don't want to wear anything too loose um, so that you're not touching, risking the chance of touching your sterile field with your clothing. Um, so just be mindful of those kinds of things. And so, okay, the first thing you want to do is your hand hygiene, right? So you do your hand hygiene. Um, couple of things. Your sterile water or whatever solution you're using should be sterile. So if the bottle is not prior, if it hasn't been priorly uh, opened, then you can go ahead and open it and start to get ready to use it. But if it was open prior to you using it, then we have to do something called lift the bottle. What you want to do is make sure that the label of the bottle is to the inside of your hand. Okay, because when you lift your bottle or when you pour your solution out, you know, sometimes liquid runs on the side. And so you don't want it running down on your label. You want to still be able to read your label. Um, so lip in a bottle, what does that mean? We take it, we open it, and we go over the trash can and just drop a little bit out. And that, the rationale is if there's a little bacteria sitting on the rim there before you start pouring, you want to just get rid of that. Um, so you only lift the bottle if it's already been opened. Most, most policies at facilities have, um, you can use a solution up to 24 hours. After 24 hours, if it's been open for more longer than that, you don't want to use the solution, so you discard it, okay? So if this were under 24 hours and this was prior, open prior to me coming in, I would go ahead and use it, but first lift the bottle. Um, so then you want to open your container or your package. When you're opening your packages, remember that the outer one inch border of everything is considered non-sterile. The outside of the package is considered non-sterile. So if I'm going to touch those things, I need to do it now. You know, if I want to move this around, I want to do it right now before I put my sterile gloves on. Most packages have sterile gloves inside, um, but I want to show you the technique of opening a package of sterile gloves and putting a, a pair of sterile gloves on um, in a different way. And you'll also see it done the other way later in lab. Um, so what I would want to do is put my solution in right now. Just be mindful, I didn't do it the way that, um, I'm kind of backwards. But after you lift the bottle, you want to be prepared to go ahead and pour it, not put the lid back on and then come back and pour it, if that makes sense. All right, so when you open your package, make sure that you have things that are facing you and not away from you. So if I have opened my package and I need to use these supplies, I don't want to have it this way, okay? I want to have it where I can reach the things that I need. So go ahead and move things out of your way before you open your package of gloves. And when you're ready, you have everything set up, you go ahead and open this up, get rid of this package. 
You want to be, be um, careful with bending these folds back really well because if not, they'll come and fold back over onto your gloves while you're trying to put them on. So you want to take all four of your fingers, or all eight of your fingers on both hands, um, and fold these back. And see how my paper lays nice and flat. It's not folding back over, so it won't get in my way. You want to start by putting on your dominant hand first. So you use your non-dominant hand, grab the cuff of the dominant hand glove, and put that on first. Make sure you keep your hands up and away from your body and away from any supplies on the table because you want them to stay sterile. To put the other hand on, glove on, you take the four fingers of your dominant hand and go inside of the cuff where it's, where it's considered sterile. You want to open that up and kind of make a little pocket for you to slide your hand in. And notice I keep my thumb up and away from the cuff area. And we struggle a little bit, but then we get it on, okay? So now, if I wanted to fix this cuff on the right hand, I could do that by sliding a sterile finger through inside where it's still sterile, and then just pull that down. So you want to be mindful of watches and things like that, making sure that they're covered and out of the way, or take them off before you start. Now I can touch sterile to sterile. I can go like this. I can touch the things in my package. I can't touch the outside of the package. I can't touch that bottle. Um, to get this out of my way, I can touch the middle of this paper, pick that up, and then just drop it out of the way and go ahead and proceed with your procedure. Okay? Any questions about that? Was there a certain amount of liquid that you put up that goes in a bottle? All of it was That just depends on what you're doing. That comes with time and technique and, you know, getting comfortable with procedures. Um, it, it really just depends on what you're about to do and how much you think you might need. Any other questions? All right, so to take these off, you do it the same way you would do any other normal glove. I grab the cuff, pull it down, grasp it in my hand, take a finger, go up underneath where it's not dirty, and pull this off, and I can describe those.